Hi everyone, this is Mike Talks Cars Podcast. Today, U.S. traffic fatalities are up, Tesla Cybertruck orders are limited, and selling the appointment. In industry news, U.S. traffic deaths have increased 10.5% in 2021. 42,915 people were killed in auto accidents on American roads last year, the highest number since 2005. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, traffic deaths have increased dramatically after pandemic lockdowns were released in 2020 and drivers engaged in unsafe behavior. There has been a significant increase in drivers speeding, texting or eating while driving, drug and alcohol impairment, and incomprehensibly, not buckling seatbelts. The 10.5% increase in 2021 is actually an 18% increase over pre-pandemic numbers. The interesting thing is that the total number of automobile accidents was down 22%. And accidents with injuries also fell 17%, even as the increase in fatalities rose during the same time period. While Canadian statistics are unavailable, this is not just an American problem. Aggressive driving, excess speed, distractions while driving are real threats to everyone out on the roads today. In new vehicle news... Tesla has cut off pre-orders for the Cybertruck for customers outside North America. The Cybertruck, which goes into production in 2023, already has pre-orders that would sell out production capability for three years. For now, only customers in Canada, the United States, and Mexico can place those pre-orders. Tesla says that the Cybertruck is not the only model that is oversold and that they will have to increase production capacity to meet demand. Now for some musings with the trainer. Lately, we've been talking a lot about listening and responding appropriately to your customer. Today, I want to take a look at something a little different. Sales. If you've ever wondered where the sales side of the sales consultant's job is, It's in getting the appointment to talk to the customer in the first place. This might mean reaching out from a list of potential customers. It might be in following up on previous customers. It might be during a conversation away from the dealership out at the golf course or at a party. Providing a potential customer with a good reason to come into the dealership or to work with you online is where the salesmanship comes into play. The most important things to remember when setting an appointment are providing choice, not too many, mind you, and providing value. When you provide choice, make sure you're specific. I've heard salespeople say things like, I'm always here. Just give me a call before you come in. No. Check your calendar and give them specifics. I have time available on Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday evening. Which of those would work best for you? And then nail down the time based on the customer's availability, but be just as specific with that as well. When they have made a decision to meet you based on the choices you have given them, keep being specific. Tell them, excellent, I have you coming in at 4.30 on Tuesday afternoon. I will be watching for your arrival at that time. Can you do me a favor? If for any reason you can't make that appointment, could you please give me a call and let me know? If you always provide the sense that you're honoring their time and that you know that their time is valuable, it goes a long way with the customer. But also, always let them feel that your time is valuable as well. That, my friends, is a great way to begin a solid relationship with a new customer. Now, I'll talk a little about providing value while setting the appointment in my next podcast. For now, this is Mike Little reminding you that, hey, selling is fun. Go have a great day.